Right, we're at Margate um, after a fantastic 3-0 Boxing Day win for the Wings. Jamie, the result in the second half performance will make you very pleased, but I thought um, we were sloppy in the first half and we could have got punished. Yeah, definitely. It was a bit lazy first half. Um, a little bit second best at times and didn't move the ball quick enough and Chris pulled off a great save, uh, which kept us in it. Uh, and we had patches in the first half where we'd done OK. Coombsy had a good chance, probably should have done better. But And I thought the last 10 minutes we got ourselves back into it and showed a bit more of what we've been about the last four or five games. Um, had a, just a little word at half time but nothing major because they've been so good up until now. And second half I thought that was excellent. I thought right through from Chris to, to Coombsy. I thought everyone played their part. Yeah, it was an amazing save by Chris to be fair because they've got him behind us a couple of times haven't they? And yeah well, they got him before and, and, and now in two minutes later getting in again the gap wasn't, wasn't well it was too big and wasn't good enough from our part but you know, good goalkeepers when they're called upon need to make saves and Chris has pulled off a great save there, you know, and like I say, everyone's played their part and he's done that in the first half and, and obviously we've upped it in the second half and, and done a lot better. Move on to the second half, but I thought um, Chris Dinanetti was excellent on the outside today. I mean, you switched sides as well um, from, from that side on, onto that. What made you switch, firstly? Well, they got a little bit of freedom to you know, express themselves. We, we start with a, with a plan and then it can change, you know, during the game. Um, um, and obviously Christian's come on this side and got the penalty you know he's good at once he gets in the box he's difficult to mark and I thought you know since I've been in charge he, he's been superb uh, as long as you know along with all the others but again today another consistent performance and played a part in the goals and uh, really pleased for him and like I said I, I thought second half was very good That's a nice little run we're on it's the thing with the first half that sort of getting in nil-nil regrouping, coming out, getting a result. I mean, that's showing you the faith you're justifying in the squad isn't misplaced because they are. Even no. when they're not playing well now, they're grinding out yeah. the goal. Yeah, good players. I said last week, you know, I feel that if we do go a goal down, not that we want to, we have got good enough players to get ourselves back in the game. And, we, you know, we didn't play very well. We're not going to play very brilliantly every week, especially first half. But, you know, we managed to get our noses in front before half time, get the penalty. And then second half, I thought was very professional. Yeah, um, second half was professional. I mean, their goalkeeper, he's made a few mistakes in his handling today, but he's made a couple of great saves second half. Oh, we could have easily scored five or six. Yeah, uh, we've got players in this team that can score goals, and we're very good going forward, and I think we've looked better defensively as a group now. So, yeah, the, the, the save from Coombsy in the second half was a fantastic save, and George had a header that he probably would have scored, you know, nine times out of ten. But we've, we're creating chances, and, you know, again, another three goals today, you know, is, is a lot of goals in the last four or five games hopefully that can continue but yeah I can't praise the boys enough for the way they played in the second half um, and obviously Chris at the end there um, do we know is it a muscle yeah he's pulled the same muscle that he pulled before so yeah. at Hungerford yeah so that was three weeks and he, he feels it's, it's worse than that so we're going to have to look at possibly get well we're going to have to go get a goalkeeper in and you know uh, that's what I have to do over the next week or so that mean Harry Gerling's loan would be looked into or, or yeah possibly I think H, you know done well enough when he was here before and he knows the boys and it would be probably simple for him to come come back in maybe have a look at if there's any experienced keepers around as well that need some game time but yeah Harry would, wouldn't be an issue of coming back um, it's good to get the three points I mean over Christmas the fans will be delighted with that yep. a lot of thing was a lot of um, talk was about how Margate are on their knees and poor side but they've got some experienced players in that team that played today against us yeah the, the thing with when you're at a club and I've been there that's not got any money it can work in your favour a little bit you've got boys that are here for the right reasons and, and they're going to give 100% for 90 minutes and uh, it's down to us to, to break them down and be ruthless when we get our chances. You know, we, we don't want to feel sorry for them and they don't want us feeling sorry for them. We, we've got to be professional and we've got to get the job done. Like you say, if they would have got their noses in front, then they're a different team. 
and, and unfortunately for them, when your confidence is a little bit low and you've got a goal down, sometimes it drains you. And we, as well as that happening, we raised our game second half as well, and I thought we was a much better side. No, so second half was an excellent performance. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, we moved the ball quicker. We looked a team full of confidence. We looked like we was going to score when we attacked. The shape was better defensively. Kept a clean sheet. So, yeah, second half was very good. Um, it's important not to. Okay, we didn't do it today. We didn't underestimate them. But it's important no. not to underestimate them for the return game. No, definitely. Yeah, you know, if we said at the start of the game, if you underestimate them and you don't give them the respect that they deserve, then you get beat. It's simple, and that's any team in this league. But you can't turn up thinking they're just going to win. You have to put the effort in. You have to put the work rate in. We've got quality players that are produced the goods in the second half. But as long for me as that work rate and desire is there, then we won't have an issue. Um, the supporters today, I mean, there's no transport to get down, they did get a coach, but there was a lot more than the coach worth of Welling Pantry and they made some great noise in the second half. Yeah, it's fantastic support, I said all along, you know, they, they can have a massive part to play, you know, and we're not out the woods yet, we've, we've won a few games, but, you know, we need to keep on winning and we need to get up the table and, and be looking up, not, not behind, so we're still in a position where we're down the bottom, um, but, and, and I said before, they'll, they'll be the 12th man at home and away, and support was fantastic again today, you heard them throughout the game, Boys really appreciate it, I appreciate it, and you know, we'll drive the boys on. So, any great result today. Um, Merry Christmas to you, the players, everybody at the cabin. We'll see you again for the return. Cheers, Tom. Merry Christmas.